Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Angel's Gear. Um, so, let's see, last time we defeated the first boss, the first angel or demon, who's who can be sure, really, of, of id. Uh, so, what Locke told me was uh, that we need to defeat uh, the dragon, Deus, not Deus Volt, uh, Deus, Deus Vane, uh, who brought the gear here, I guess, uh, sent by the creator of the of the gear, a person named Heathcliff, who we also need to defeat, as well as the the demons and angels of Id and Super Ego. So is that one angel of Id and one demon of Super Ego, or are there multiple for each? How are they even different? I don't know. I wanted to actually look up what Id and and Super Ego even mean in in philosophy. I know they are terms from philosophy, but they probably they're probably different um like is this even the right way yes um they're probably different uh what's the word i'm looking for um definitions for either of the of the terms i could imagine and who knows what the creator of this game means by those terms maybe they just thought it sounded cool or maybe there's actually deeper meaning to it i have absolutely no idea um, now, what I do know is that this map is only, um, like, it's not super helpful. Uh, last time after I defeated the first boss, oh yeah, so I defeated the first boss, whatever it actually was. Uh, so, it, Isaac, the speaker, I guess, the prophet of, oh uh, yeah, of, of Ig, the tree thing. Which is apparently the super ego of nature, right? That's what it said. Um, so Isaac said that um, that Ig was silent because because of a nearby id. So I guess I defeated an id, this weird crawling creature, and then I also went back to the hub, which might not actually be the cathedral, as I as I kept saying the first time around, because well, the the angel saved us at the beach. Um, teleported us away somewhere, so I don't actually know where we are. Although we still started the game on a beach. I, I don't know. I, I know. I'm, I keep jumping from one place to the next all over the place. Uh, either way. So so we defeated the War Mother, right? Because because reasons. <laughs> and, um, and helped Charlie, was it? The weird little creature? So, yeah. I don't know if she really counts as another boss because she was weirdly easy. But anyway, uh, we defeated the first proper boss for sure right around here i guess right to the to the right of here actually and gained access to a new area over this way some sort of catacombs i guess we only get the name ones uh, when we first enter an area that's fine uh, and we can also go down this way right here and there was also a way down earlier before the boss i wonder if i should go there and check that out first well before we head into a new area i'm definitely going to stay inside this one and see if there are any more things for us to find. This might just connect back, actually. Oh yeah, there is a lever of some sort. Uh, how do we deal with these things again? Dodge that shot? Which I'm absolutely amazed I was able to do. Okay. And then we wait for them to come to us and one-shot them. That seems to be working pretty well. Okay. I hit that now. Of course... I don't actually know what that did, because I didn't see any thing blocking me. Maybe there was a barrier here. You found an armor shell stone. Your health is permanently increased by one. Is it? Oh, okay, there's a green thing above my red health now. So I guess that's gonna get uh, removed first before my health is touched, probably, but we presumably cannot heal that with healing charges. We'll see if that's true. So... This is... this has to be the other way that I was talking about. I think originally I just jumped over this and ended up with the save point that was before the boss, right? I mean, I am gonna save, because progress has been made. And presumably we could not have just bypassed the boss by going the lower route to begin with. There would have been something blocking us. 
a gate. Probably in this narrow passage here, there must have been some, some sort of barrier. Letting us see the, the upgrade thing here. But not actually reach it. Okay, that's that's fair. Alright, well that also takes care of two of the <laughs> of the pathways. And yeah, with that I guess there's only one way forward to the It was called catacombs of something or something 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 catacombs. Oh yeah, there's Deus Vane. I guess he's ignoring us now, what the the actual heck? Okay. Are you gonna explode? Yup, sure enough, in a little nuclear explosion, because why not? Okay, um, I guess there's no real reason not to just kill everything with bullets, because things stay dead. So, it's a finite resource, but I mean, it's not... it's technically... well, I guess it is f finite, unless... until you heal, <laughs> unless you find a, a safe point, or something easy enough to kill in melee. Okay, one, two, three, four. I think that was just five shots. Um, I don't know if this necessarily counts as easy enough to kill because. Oh wait, this one was way easier to kill than the than the other ones. This this one seemed easy as easy to kill as the the very first ones I encountered. Maybe they've always been, and I just kept missing the ones that that I encountered later. I only thought they took more hits. I don't know. Either way, I feel like it's very easy to, to just get kicked by one of them. Alright, I keep thinking that I can just, you know, look around, look down. How silly of me. Hmm. I mean, I don't know, should I just keep going left? Actually, maybe I should stay up top and, and go left first before, before heading down. Oh. Okay. Well, there's a gate here. Obviously, the map does not help us remember that. I really hope the game world is not terribly huge, because otherwise this is going to be difficult to keep track of all the pathways, because, yeah, there's just no indication whatsoever. <laughs> it's rough. Two, three, four, five. four shots, never mind. Okay, uh, wait, you already shot me? Oh, well, you shot me again. Oh yeah, that removed my armor. Alright. Okay. Huh. Dodge underneath them? What? Oh, that still hit me. I... I don't fully understand what's going on, but that's okay. Get out of the way. Oh, never mind. So I guess you actually have to see the enemy. What? What? Do they just blow themselves up to damage you in the first place? So you really just have to get close to them, dodge away, and you're good? Aw, oh, I wanted to jump. I mean, I pressed the jump button. It just didn't do anything. Oh, wow. Never mind. Healing actually restores your armor as well. So it is just straight up extra health. Huh. And here's an upgrade thing. Bullets. More bullets. You'll find an ammo upgrade. Max ammo increased by four. Okay. Straightforward. I like it. Whoa. <laughs> no, that's not... How you interact. <laughs> Interesting. I guess you can just jump up that, yeah. <laughs> okay. I should be careful, though. I mean, the game is... A little bit janky, as I have mentioned plenty of times, probably, last time. So, I should be wary of potentially self-locking myself in places by trying to be too, you know, too clever, trying to explore. Um, oh, I... That is so interesting. What? Oh, um, wait. <laughs> For some, somehow I managed to shift my aim. I guess what I could be doing is learn exactly how many shots an enemy takes and almost kill it and then, you know, finish it off with a melee to get some ammo back. If I really wanted to, min-max. But is that really necessary? 
Can I make that jump across? I don't think I can. Also, I mean, I haven't found a single... Oh, that, that almost worked. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I haven't found a, a single secret wall yet, or, you know, secret passage. I don't know if those exist. You found the pristine gear. Wait, that's what we were supposed to, what we were supposed to look for. For... Was that for Natya, the girl? It feels like there's a battle going on inside of it. Yeah? Something about that being, like... That's not how you interact. Why do I keep pressing that button? Well, there go my heal charges. It's fine, I'm sure. Um, yeah, I think she said something about it being the essence of both, or somehow containing both id and superego. Which I guess are two, like, conflicting concepts. Okay, four shots, and it's gonna blow up. I wouldn't mind a save point just to lock in my progress. Although I guess... Yeah, I can actually... Oh, wait, what? You, you just damaged me. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, this hasn't really been particularly difficult or anything. There's one, two, three shots. And he kicks me from far enough away that I can't hit him. Okay, yeah, I don't know. Did most of us hits... Most of my hits just not connect there or something. Oh well. Oh hey, save point. I'll take it. There was a way down though, I think. Oh god, I should double check actually. I think there was a way down on the way here. Somewhere to the right. Am I making that up? Well, let's deal with this boss fight. Or is it the boss fight? You followed. Good. Enjoying the view? This is the place where Deus Vane was conceived. It, okay. But didn't Deus Vane come from the moon? Oh, the creator of the gear planted a seed inside the moon, right? That's what the intro sequence said. And then in the... You know, as as our unit of soldiers was attacking that, that cathedral fortress on the beach for whatever reason, that at, just at that moment... The moon exploded, and the the dragon hatched, I suppose, or sprouted from the seed. If you want, if you if you want to say it like that, but it was conceived here. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, the moon doesn't exist anymore, uh, and and even if it did, I don't know that we have any means of getting there. So it's it's good that the creator, who's behind the gear, who we need to kill, is actually on the same planet as as us. Anyway, uh, okay. This is the place where Deus Vane was conceived. Do you have, like... Do you have, like, uh, thrusters in your hands? <laughs> a place like this is saturated with id. Pure, neur pure neuroticism gave birth to that monster. That same negativity birthed me from your own mind womb. So you are kind of part of me, like my subconscious, the... the evil inside of me or something, whereas the demon is, uh, whereas the, the angel is like a physical, presumably physical manifestation of the good inside of me? That's kind of the vibe I'm getting anyway. I am you, made pure. Pure hate, pure shame. Yeah, all the negative stuff, gotcha. Your sickness, it is me. I am your hate. You can get rid of me, no matter how hard you try. I could try bullets. Oh. I could try actually aiming at the thing. <laughs> oh no, wait. Oh, no, never, never mind. Okay. Oh, hey, thanks for the bullets. My dude. What? Oh, interesting. Interesting stuff, okay. I don't know if it can actually be hit in melee. Okay, it's gonna shoot that way. I should probably heal, also. Drop me stuff, please. Thank you. <laughs> it's dead. Wow. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, I think I see how combat is going to go in this game. You found your inner id. Activated with A. I'm sure that's not actually the button, but press R to use it forms special action. Oh, yeah. So those commands obviously uh, do not apply to my current control scheme, but I'm sure I'm going to figure things out. So that's not the button. Oh, that is the button. So I can switch forms now. That is cool. And now we kind of look a little bit like the thing we just defeated. So we kind of embrace our evil form that we have reabsorbed into ourselves or something. I also really do like the UI change there. So we go from kind of our neutral balanced state to the evil, evil state. And now, yeah, okay, we have kind of like a flaming or, or glowing blade. Oh. Huh? oh, that takes more than three ammo, I guess. Yeah, I wasn't... I thought it, it consumed more than one, but I wasn't actually looking at the, the ammo gauge at the time. Uh, can we still heal? Oh, interesting. That refills our ammo. Maybe we cannot heal in this state, but we refill ammo instead. Huh, R for the special action. Oh, okay, now this button does something. So we have a shield now to block. Well, obviously, now that we have this available to us, this new form with its different attack, potentially different healing mechanic, cannot switch ammo types for this yet, although that's, that might also be a thing. Yeah, obviously, the, now, all of a sudden, the game has gotten a lot more complex, potentially, giving us a way to block attacks. That is fascinating. I mean, we still have a melee attack. We can still slide, can still stomp. Let's see here. So that takes how many? Four shots? Yes. Okay. I'm assuming that's very powerful. How fascinating. Um, I guess I haven't gone up here. Nope, sure haven't. Wait, could I have gone up here and picked this up before the fight? Found the reverse amnestic. Bad memories fill your head, followed by good ones. Reverse amnestic. Amnestic? What is it? I'm not familiar with that word, if it's a word. Bad memories fill your head, followed by good ones. Mm, yeah. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh, continue. So I have no idea what that does. Cool. Nothing seems to be different in our normal form. Huh. Okay. Thanks. I guess I'm gonna save that as well. So we, we have found... the id. Uh, the elevator... The elevator at the hub said that it could only be used by someone with an id, so I guess that is where we can progress now. If I had to guess. Which means that we need to backtrack. Everything's still dead. Oh yeah, there was a way down. We never did go down this way. Okay, good. Oh. Uh, wait. So we don't just attack that. Yeah. Okay, so we have one of these doors down here. We have one door up and to the left on the surface level of the catacombs area. I need to... I really should take notes, but... I kind of... I don't know why I'm thinking that. But I, but I feel like the game is probably not very large. Not very long. The game world is not super huge. So, hopefully I should be fine just... remembering these things. I'm also planning to play through this... and record it. Well, not in one go, obviously. This is... Uh, actually recorded one day after the first episode, but I should be able to record multiple episodes today at least, and so hopefully I shouldn't take, you know, I shouldn't, it shouldn't take me too long to get through this game. So maybe my memory is going to be sufficient. I do like those 
that happy little face in the cathedral window there, by the way. <laughs> Looks like some cartoon teddy bear or something. Or cartoon friendly version of Shrek or something. <laughs> the, actually, the other symbols to the left and right of it <laughs> looked like the Cyrillic character D, kind of, and, and kind of like the uh, like the Japanese style uh, text emoji <laughs> for for the the like the the, the <laughs> screaming face or whatever it's supposed to be. <laughs> anyway, um, this was just the locked door, right? Yep, sure enough. And I guess just making sure that this doesn't open now. It's kind of the, key, the same color as this character, so there could have been some sort of connection, I guess. I, I love the, the sprinting jump and the, the belly landing every time. Nice. Okay, yeah. Well, I suppose... Uh, what was stopping me from going further to the right, though? Should I double check real quick? What was there? I guess since enemies stay dead, it's really not a big problem. This is the boss, right? Yeah. Backtracking isn't really going to be a huge issue. Does this maybe just exist to be able to make that jump? Can you jump to that ledge? You can. This looks like the perfect place for for a secret. Oh no, I dropped off the ledge, which meant that I couldn't grab the ladder in midair. I guess you can just make the jump from here, yeah. All right. Oh, wait. Was there a way? quite all the way over to the l to the right yet oh wait maybe I just never continued this way oh yep sure enough I guess I just decided to stay inside the, the building for the time being what wait did that even hit well that sure did <laughs> Oh, of course, I should have known. Okay, so we must find a way to deal with these doors uh, sometime soon. But for now, we do have the elevator, and we have the NPCs to talk to. I guess it's good that I came over this way, just to confirm what was there. That's the age-old dilemma in Metroidvanias, of course. Do you... You know, you, at some point you have to make a judgment call and just, you know, either continue going in one direction to find out, <laughs> potentially to find out that you can't continue, that there's only there was only one more screen to see, and then something stopping you for the time being, or a dead end with something good inside, or it could turn out to be a long sprawling path leading you further away from where you were intending to go, perhaps, or where you even need to go. Or do you just turn around and explore somewhere else first? Potentially not finding that super good upgrade that's just around the corner, or, you know. Or not learning that there was just a locked door. Whoa! I didn't think you'd actually manage to find it! Seriously, great work! I'm shocked! Shocked! I don't even want to poke fun at you! Well done! Relying on other people. Thanking them. <laughs> Didn't think I was capable. Before luck came to me, I kept entirely to myself. It was lonely, yes, but in my selfishness, there was a great comfort to it. I've never known this type of companionship. I didn't know it could be so nice. Ah, but... <laughs> I still mostly enjoy being alone. Thank you very much. But if you just want to be around, I suppose I don't mind. Anyway, I'm going to get back to work. 
Yeah, I mean, I, honestly, she's she's kind of similar to me. I mean, not in very many ways. Um, but I certainly do like being or having other people around. Just not necessarily talking to them much, you know. Well, it depends on the people. There you go. Some some lore update on on me, I guess. Kind of random. Uh, so there's just never gonna be anything over here anymore, huh? Unless I don't know. <laughs> Somehow I'm not convinced that the War Mother is just gonna stay dead for some reason. But maybe she will. Hey. I guess we're done for now, huh? And... Millie? Was it? The smith? Just wanted us to find find out something about her past, right? She was she wants to remember who she was. Oh, was this? Is this for little old me? Wait, did I find something for you? Oh, is that the thing I found? Something to make me remember. Oh my lord, no way. Uh-huh, bottoms up. Oh, oh, this is, I, I'm sorry, this is so overwhelming. I, I it, it was so long ago, so very long. My people, we were, were angels. Mama, Mama, she, and we, everyone was hugging. We, we were locked together, and then nothing. No, no, thank you. You have no idea how much this means to me. Thank you, thank you so much. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I, I guess... I guess we have a lot more in common than I thought, do we? <laughs> I'm gonna do what I was born to do. I'm gonna make you the best stuff you could possibly ask for. Oh, here. I got this for you. Should help you out. And again, I can't say it enough. Thank you. You found an armor shell stone. Oh. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Anything else I can help you with? I guess not for now. Oh, we're making rapid progress. Elevator inoperable. Only those with an id can use it, but I do have an id. Oh. Oh, okay. It, it just took a moment to work. I really was... It was, It took just long enough for me to wonder... To, to For that brief moment of despair. Because I really didn't know where else I would try to go. Uh, Deus Garden. Yeah, there he is again. Okay, are those just background? I think they are. How bizarre. Those, that bird looks weirdly out of place. Okay. Oh god. I was just about to comment on the lack of enemies around here. Okay. Two quick shotgun blasts. Take care of that thing. Honestly... Okay, it takes quite a few shots like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know. Seven shots at least? So I guess I'm not really saving much by by shooting it like this over using the shotgun, if at all. Huh. Okay, and here we got an ammo refill. Not quite a free ammo refill, mind you. Oh, hold on. Also, it doesn't even give you all that much. I guess I'm gonna heal. Right, which also restored... Wait. Oh, it's always restored ammo in this form. Maybe it restores ammo in any form. I mean, I don't know why it would... Only for this character, basically. Okay. Shotgun blast one-shots these. And now... Didn't you just blow up? You don't even damage me. Weird. They look, oh, never mind. They're damaged. <laughs> that is so strange. What is going on? I want to understand. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Uh, let's try. Yeah, that does totally refill my ammo. Never mind. So it is kind of a reload in a way. I thought I'd tried that at some point and determined that it didn't. Refill ammo. Okay. Yeah, those guys are probably ju just best dealt with using the shotgun. 
dodge. Never mind. <laughs> I almost felt like my like my slide like made it topple over. Surely that doesn't count as an attack, right? Uh oh. Oh, I hit it as it was <laughs> trying to get up. I'll take it. Oh man, this game. Half the time I have no idea what's going on. Maybe more than half the time. Oh, there's an upgrade. Is that just an armor stone, actually? Yes, armor shell stone. Wow, we're getting so many upgrades so quickly. I guess that's another indicator for the game not being all that long, actually. Okay, and now we... Ah. Wait just a little bit too long, that's okay though. We have tons of health at this point. Okay, we deal with you. Just duck. Nope. Keep expecting it to... Oh, yeah. Uh... I don't know, I keep expecting them to, to actually uh, take longer to land. That's okay. Ah, wow, okay. I guess I need to slide through them before they start their their attack. Because there, there might just not be any uh, iframes during your slide. Oh, okay, and I was... I guess I chose correctly again. Another ammo upgrade. Yeah, point in case. I, I will also, I guess... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say I will always try to jump on top of them to look for secret passages, except this one doesn't even allow you to do that. Okay. Um, you know what? Just do that. Oh. Uh... The explosion is still happening. Fair enough. Dodge that. Oh. This time it took multiple hits. What? Wait, oh, that did kill it, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> I... What? What? What, what is actually happening? Getting flung off screen. Messing up my controls. I. What? No, don't! Don't waste your ammo like that. You idiot. How do I manage to. Oh, well, I guess at some point I, I did aim down. This is so weird. <laughs> Obviously, aiming down is literally never gonna be useful because you cannot shoot in midair. Or presumably by falling. May maybe you can while falling? But. <laughs> I don't know. I can't really see a scenario where I would ever, oh hey, uh, where I would ever actually want to fall down straight onto an enemy while shooting down at it. Uh, you know, similarly, well, aiming diagonally up, I suppose, could potentially have its uses, but so far I've been trying to basically only ever shoot at enemies head on. Oh, right. Ladders. Ladders are a thing. Actually, here, you have to just be ready to press a direction. Oh, dear. Okay. Once again, we managed to kill one of these basically instantly. Are you gonna land here? That was too far away. That's fine. I'm actually out of fuel, so... This is getting a little bit dangerous. I feel like I've been going for a while without a... Without a... Huh? Oh, this is just... Not a transition. It's just a wall. Good to know. Um, I wonder if we can fall down from the top level. Uh, we've been going for a while without a save point. Haven't we? There was this room where we can climb up. Oh, I didn't jump. Okay, this, yeah, this is also a dead end. Well, not a dead end, but... 
a wall. Oh, that is a transition. And there are things here. I shot a little bit too much, maybe. There's another one. Oh, there's actually one of those things. Uh, I kind of want to kill you in melee. Oh. You just ran off the screen and disappeared. Are you? Oh, never mind. I guess it still existed off screen. Yep. Oh god, and they can absolutely damage me. And now I'm one hit away from death. No! It happened. God damn it. <laughs> I died on this screen. Okay. Hey, first non boss death. It had to happen eventually, but. I mean, again, enemies stay dead, right? Oh, that took me all the way back. Oh, enemies only stay dead after you save progress. Wow. Okay. Yep, yeah, that makes sense. That makes perfect sense. Very old school in that regard. So, yeah. I mean, that's, to be fair, that, that is what Nadia said. That we were... That it would resurrect me, but also rewind time, so... No safe progress at all. And that's fair. Should I just make it, make a cut, make it back to where I was? Maybe? So we haven't even done this, right? Thank you. The awkward elevator again. That claims I can't do anything here, but I guess just stand in it long enough? And yeah, it eventually just goes up. Didn't even have to press any button or anything. Now, can I remember... Where I need to go. Probably. Is there anything up here? Not that I could potentially get up there. No. Oh, not a great start. There you go. Yeah, just don't even mess around with these guys. Ah. What is even going on? Get out of there and then attack. Okay, get your stuff back. Hmm. Oh, honestly, I almost just want to ignore these guys. Because I feel like... Oh, what's happening? Get out of there. Okay, I'm gonna heal now. That's fine, I'm sure. Oh, no. Don't take stupid damage from these. These are just supposed to be free ammo refills, basically. Oh, I... Ah, uh, hold on. Wait. Is he gonna reset? No, he's gonna still be up there, right? Okay, come down. Dodge early. To get away from their swipe. Okay, and this was just an armor stone. And up and to the right. That also fully heals you. Cool. So I guess I could have saved that. That up. Uh, heal. That's fine. You come over here. Actually, well, should be first. A nice dodge, if I do say so myself. Okay, dodge out of the way. Grab all the stuff, grab the ammo upgrade. I wonder if there's ever gonna be a healing charge increase? Because the UI doesn't really allow for there to be more than three of those inside. I mean, it could physically change, I suppose, like... The frame for it could expand. Oh, what?! What?! You can do that?! That also completely missed me somehow? I'm not really sure... how that's even possible? That 
is so weird. Nice, okay, good. Two for one, I'll take that. For sure. Uh, what am I doing, man? Oh, what? Hold on. <laughs> huh. And even though I killed this one with a stomp, it did not drop anything for me. I feel cheated. <sighs> okay, I think I'm gonna climb up here. This is where I died, right? Up and to the left from here. Nope. Accidentally slid somehow. I'm not sure how I did that. Um. Okay. There's nothing here, right? Oh, pff, nope. That's that's not even a platform. Maybe the tiny one is. I don't know. Okay. So. Yeah. No, don't! It did the thing again where I somehow managed to mess up my aiming direction. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Uh, maybe I'll try to get my ammo refilled somewhere else, because I really just want to kill that thing. With two shotgun blasts. Another ammo type, I think. You found the uh, barrage bullets. With this bullet type, three shots will be fired in one quick burst. Okay, but that's again for the main character. Three shots in one quick burst, huh? And that shouldn't be enough uh, to kill one of those big sword swinging monsters. Okay, that was up there. Hmm. There was another way to the left, no, to the right of this vertical section. I wonder now if I should have gone there first. No, but I think I'm gonna go... Oh, oh yeah, this is actually where I want to be. Uh, I think I want to go this way first. Oh, okay, oh! Never mind, we got ammo this time. Okay, come here, please. Just, yeah. They're so strange. I find them so weird. So unpredictable. Okay. And there's a door here. Uh, I... That's not how you do things. Okay, so would these actually just stand there and, and stomp and wait for them? Because somehow there's enough of an area effect, I guess, to your stomp. That they will just get stun locked and knocked into the air and knocked over, and then primed for actually being stumped to death before they get a chance to do anything. So yeah, that seems to work pretty reliably, at least. In fact, that seems to work pretty well for most enemies. Uh, maybe some of the tankier ones you need to damage first, but anyway. Um, yeah, we got another door situation here. So again, glad I checked this way, I suppose. I really, really want a save point, though, to log in my progress. That would be super nice. Right. So I had looked at this screen for before, yeah. Yeah, see? It was getting ready to stomp, I guess. Oh, never mind. This... Hmm. That time... I was a little bit too slow, I suppose. You need to start stomping earlier. Yeah. It might also not work 100% of the time, but you know. Some chance of, of that working is better than nothing. There, I didn't even need to stomp. Maybe it just, maybe it doesn't need to be the stomp, and I just thought that was the case. Or maybe not all enemies' hitboxes allow you, allow for your normal melee attack to finish them off, to even hit them while they're on the ground. But in that case, it worked. Oh god, um, I don't know why that scared me so much. <laughs> Save point? Not yet. 
There it is, alright. Yeah, I definitely felt like we were due a save point. Alright, um... Boss fight? What? Surely it's not time for, for us to fight this thing yet. Hi. Are you actually here? I guess you're... you are actually here. Okay. Uh... Do we need to destroy those? Oh, we totally do, actually. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what is going on? What is actually happening? <laughs> oh my god. Heal? Heal? Stomp? Uh, or just... Yeah, actually, your, your slide does damage, I guess. It sure did destroy those things. Okay, we cannot actually get away from this. Out of the way? <laughs> Jesus. Oh no. I want to get that ammo. Thank you. Uh oh, that's not enough. Oh wow, what? Heal? I guess it, it at some point it just decides where it's gonna aim that thing and then. Oh, you cannot get safely through? Wait. Yeah, at some point it's gonna aim that laser and just keep firing it. And during some times, during certain times, um, you can safely move through. Oh, I died! No way! I didn't pay attention to my health. During certain phases, you can slide through the boss. <laughs> during most phases, though, it just you just can't. This is so strange. I mean, this is so strange, basically describes this game. Everything about this game. You know what, I'm gonna try using the triple shot. Maybe that's more efficient or something. Oh. Honestly, that seems pretty good. It seems pretty good. It might not be. Oh god, that did... Did that hit me? I can't actually tell. Okay, I think this cannot hit me. I'm gonna... I need to get to the other side of it. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> no, I think the triple shot is pretty good. I'm gonna heal as well. Can I backflip through it? I'm... I kind of... It, that almost worked? Okay, and that does aim at me. I wasn't sure. How could you ever be sure about anything in this game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heal. Heal! Yeah. Get out. Get away. Whew. Whew. Okay. Nope. Spawn things at me, please. Um, give me ammo. Oh, okay. We won. Is it actually... It's not dying, right? Phase two? Oh. Oh, father. Heathcliff. Death stares into me, but I will take this creature with me. What? What? Wait, who's talking to whom there? That all be consumed in the apocalyptic fires of the gear. Soldier! Inside the Screamer Maiden, now! Uh-oh. Oh, that that one. That is the one that I had saved up before, right? Yeah, okay. So it just blows itself up, but it's fine, because we saved the game, basically. And we're gonna... be reborn. <laughs> I see angels, demons, id, ego... Father, did I do good? So that was the dragon itself speaking, okay. Even though it seemed like a tiny little thing like crawled out of it after it ripped itself open. 
Okay, we cannot regularly save at this one. Oh, what? <laughs> Are you Heathcliff? <laughs> what, is, what is happening? Hmm, Deus Vane. You did more than I ever could have asked for. I mean, I suppose it did spread the gear to this world, which it was which which is what it was created for, so it served its purpose. For some reason, I expected the dragon to be the main boss, or at the very least, like the, you know, second to last boss. I mean, maybe it is. Who knows? Maybe maybe all that's left to do is actually defeat Heathcliff. Maybe we're going to do it right now. It was you, right, soldier? Fascinating. Oh, I'm Heathcliff. Forgot to mention it. Yeah, I mean, I figured as much. Cuff, cuff. So, bullets. Just bullets. Well, triple bullets, yeah. Now, I find that hard to believe. Oh. Oh, now that I mention it, you have an id. You're also resistant to the gear. Fascinating. I simply must know how. Soldier, do you hear me? Everything okay? We heard a huge boom. Get back here right now. I see. So that's it. Uh-oh. What? Oh, he took that thing. Ooh. What is that? What incredible technology rivals even my own. Interesting. So this is what lets you tame the gear. Oh, God. Oh, this is not good. Wait. Or... What? <laughs> oh, dear. I see. That was the only thing keeping you alive. You're not resistant to the gear at all. No, you're absolutely full of the disease. This gear just stopped the symptoms. A shame. You put up an amazing fight. I'll give you that. No hard feelings. Oh, if you survive this, tell that meddler Locke. If I survive this, what are you talking about? Am I not already dead? Tell that meddler Locke. Tell him to leave things alone. Uh... Oh, hey. Are you going to save me again? No. No, this cannot be. Hub, church, must bring him. Must bring him to the others. Live! Okay. I'm a one-winged angel myself now. Oh, what? I control this. I have the map still. Okay. Oh. I don't know if this would have... I... I wish I had tried going to the right instead of running into Heathcliff, as I did. But I'm assuming that there was just a dead end anyway. So are we actually just going all the way back? Oh, you can fly. You're an angel. That makes sense. We cannot actually fly up that way, never mind. So this is a little bit awkward. Can I do anything? No, I can't just move. <laughs> I guess we're actually literally just flying back to the church. Oh, maybe we can go up this way? Nope. Yes. Nope. <laughs> huh. And this is not the way back, I know that. But I have to use this opportunity to... do some experimenting, I guess. I'm gonna assume that these doors don't open to angels, no. Or that there is anywhere to go up in these areas. <sighs> what, what a bizarre game. This was just toward the upgrade. Take the elevator? That's no, <laughs> but we did have to wait for him to move out of the way because it blocked us. Okay, here we are. Everyone's gathered. Oh my goodness, soldier! Sir Knight, no! Has he imbibed an Im Im imbibed an id? I mean Yeah, I had done that before though. Angel, stop right there! What did you do to him? Please, we must hurry. We can still save this one's life, but we must do so immediately. Are the angels considered our enemies? When when we first 
got here. Nadia said that I smell of angel, yet I am just a human. Hmm, weird. Do as she says. No fuss, Nadia. Yeah, also... Like, in the very beginning of the game, when the soldiers were in, in, the, in the, the landing craft, one of them said... Like, one of them was starting to pray to the gods, or I don't know what exactly he was addressing. What or who. And then someone else said... Presumably someone else. Um, it's... There's no use. Like the... I don't know. Something along the lines of... Uh, those in the church are are not on our side. They are our enemies or something. I don't know. Kind of implying that we're originally... Like enemies of the church. And thus presumably of... Of angels and, and whatever god they were worshipping. I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> Do as she says. No fuss, Nadia. Damn you. Fine. What do we do? Little one, you must add a new Neo Gear. Little, huh? <laughs> Fine. She is kind of small. Ancient one, the speaker. Play your tune. I. I see no apothecary. Very well. Blacksmith. Y yes, ma'am? You must weld my angelic essence into, this, into his armaments, cauterize his wounds. I will become part of him. Okay, so that's how we get our angel form. Hold it. There is no way in hell we're letting an angel fuse to him. Nadia, he'll die. We have to. Ah, fine, fine. Angelic super soldier, fine with me. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Locke. Hmm. This was his doing. I see. This is a declaration of war. Heathcliff will be making advances to stop us now. This whole time, he's just been toying with us. Why are you doing this anyway? I thought the angels and demons went feral after Deus Bane landed. There is no time to explain, I'm sorry. Consider me someone who cares about this world and its people. We must begin. Ancient One, begin playing. Little One, place the Neo Gear inside Soldier. <laughs> Soldier is just our name now. Oh, it worked. He's alive, just barely. Good, yes. This will be goodbye. I trust you all. You are this world's hope. And she teleports away. Okay, Millie. You know what to do. Does she? <laughs> Headband on. Knuckles cracked. Alright, time for this lady to get to work. Let me show you how it's done. Give me some space. This is going to be intense. <laughs> A few hours later... <laughs> Uh, or something? October 18th, 1944. Dimension A. Fatherland. Deus Bellum Facility. Project Gear. 19... 1944. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that fits with a kind of World War theme from the beginning. Not sure if October 18th of that year was anything particular. Head Engineer, Professor Heathcliff... Y y Yemane? Yemane? Consultant Engineer, Assistant Professor Lok Yimane. The King. Is the project ready? Lok? No, my lord. The King? When will it be ready? Lok? We are not sure, my lord. The King? Professor Heathcliff. I, I should not be reading the names, I guess. Hmm? Oh, yes. Apologies, my lord. I'm lost in thought. Explain yourself. Yes, my King. I worry. The project, you see. Such a thing. This gear... What do you ask of us? I worry about the, the ethical aspects of it. You will do as I say. The Roots are upset about your growth, uh, our growth. With a weapon like the gear, we could lull the whole nation into our jaws. My lord, it, it will be genocide. Silence, you vile creature. Do your damn duty. Go work now. Okay. <laughs> December 17th. Heathcliff! Heathcliff! Hm? What? You haven't left the lab since... Just... What have you been doing? Idiot! The king will have me hanged if I don't finish this project. Besides, what's left for me? This is all I have now. We, the fatherland, this is our last chance. Heathcliff! You're a person, not a tool, not a weapon! Out of my sight, lock. You won't help. If you won't help, then leave me. April 30th, 1945. 
Oh. Oh, so he was the first to actually get infected with his own weird techno... Techno-necromorphic disease <laughs> and transformed into this being. Heathcliff, what have you done? The king is dead. It's over. Stop this. The Fuhrer is dead. <laughs> Wrong. It's not over. I have finished the gear. Heathcliff, there's no point in this. Why? It was never about the war. Not for me, anyway. Look, I don't care about any of this. The fatherland, the king. You're the only one, Locke. The only good thing in this damn world. But in my time working on the gear, I've changed. Yeah, you don't say. I started this working out of fear, but that fear mutated into anger. Anger? Yes, anger. At this war, this world, that I was forced to work on this thing. The gear. The gear. To me, it is a romance. The gear is me. It is my wrath. A demon to consume all things. Heathcliff. Locke. I am releasing the gear. Why? Why, Heathcliff? <laughs> My divine punishment. You will be spared. Just you. All else. Let it rot. No, no, stop this, Heathcliff. This isn't right. None of this was right, ever. Nothing except the gear. In my whole life, the gear is the only thing that has ever made sense to me. No more war, no more fear, no more anything. Only the disease. Only the gear. Okay. May 1st, 1945. Burlock, Galen. <laughs> the gear is released into the city. The first humans are devoured. The gear grows. It wraps around buildings. It devours all matter. It continues to grow. First the city, then more cities, then the country itself, more countries, the continent, oceans, all places. It stretches upward, hungry for more, into space. It eats the moon, solar system, more, the galaxy, the universe, infinite, eating, growing. All is gone. October 23rd, 2722. Bit of a jump. Heathcliff creates a dimensional gate to dimension B. The Godhead. Locke follows shortly. <laughs> uh, Heathcliff cannot bring the gear through the gate. He inseminates the moon with Deo's vein. Locke gathers the Godhead's most brilliant... Time is running out. A soldier arrives on a beach, and Deus Vane descends. Huh. Yeah. And this is where we are. <laughs> You're awake. Seems our efforts paid off. I'm glad. Everyone's exhausted. We've been working non-stop for almost a whole day. Almost a whole day. Oh, I kind of assumed more time had passed. Let them have their rest. Right now, we have to talk. You have absorbed both id and superego. Demon and angel. The two primal elements of the Godhead are inside you now. Heathcliff has made this move, has made his move. With Deus Vane dead, he has to get serious now. This doesn't spell good news. We have no idea where he is. But we do know what you can do. We have to hit him where it hurts. We have three objectives. You can conquer them in any order. One, deep below the caverns of the Godhead, is the heart of the gear. Something down there is letting the gear continue to grow. If you destroy it, the gear cannot continue to replicate without another Deus Vane level event. 2. Angel Holm. Deus Vane's attack made the primal elements of this world return in full force, and they are out for blood. Both demons and angels have come out to harvest this chaos. Calm them or kill them, it doesn't matter. Just handle it. Okay, Angel Holm. Uh, I mean, that seems like it's it would be where the angels are from. And then there's the third thing is going to be where the demons are from. Three, monsters continue to appear despite the lack of corpses to possess. Something is creating pure id creatures from thin air. Find the Zynagogue. Zynagogue? Zynagogue? And kill whatever horror is birthing them. Okay. Accomplish these tasks and Heathcliff will have no choice but to come out and play. That's our opportunity to end this once and for all. Now go. You must save us. This world. All worlds. Base form. Ambition realized. Angel mode unlocked. <laughs> Press R to use special angel action. Oh, come to think of it, I never actually... We still have access to this. Um, we never... I never actually made use of the shield. Would that have been useful? I mean, it depends, I guess, if it only blocks projectiles or... What is able to stop? I also was not healed. Interestingly, um, angel form unlocked. 
how... That's not how you do things. Oh my god. Huh. Well, that's the running button. Um, um. Oh! What? What? Interesting. What does that do? It just shoots me upward. <laughs> okay. So in my normal human form, if I hold the special button, I guess, it does this. I have no idea what this does. I guess I'll have to try that in a place where I can actually... where there's no ceiling. <laughs> Maybe it's just a way to, to reach higher places. But I cannot really move during this, during the ascent, only after I start falling down. Weird. And an angel, uh, in demon form, the button does this. <laughs> okay. All right. Anyway, I also need to. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> I need to save the game and, and end the episode. I was really hoping. I was. I should have just stopped after the the Deus Vein fight. Obviously, in hindsight. <laughs> I thought at that time. I thought you know, wow, this is perfect timing. Just under an hour, exactly the length I'm aiming for. Perfect. Uh, and then all of this happened. <laughs> the last 15 minutes happened. Oh, good, you're out. Happy to see you a okay I'm feeling okay? No strange new impulses? Good, good. I guess? Oh, wait. I guess one of... My arm was replaced, huh? Yeah. So when I died... Huh. Let's also... Let's ignore the fact that the sprite is just... Uh, the same, no matter which way you look. But... You know, one of my arms, I think, was replaced with a metal arm, I guess. The prosthesis. But only in human form, of course. Um, huh. What is this? What is it supposed to do? Any more info on that? No? And you? Yeah. Sir Knight, you have recovered. Thank Ig. Thank the Godhead. You have created a synthesis of id and superego within you, conquered your moral and immoral sense self to become something more. Through kindness and bloodshed, a hero is born. Sir Knight, well done. <laughs> Thanks. I'm glad you seem to be understanding something about what's going on here. Anything? Any info on what this huge mechanical heart is doing here? No? War Mother is still dead. <laughs> right. Okay, well. We made some pretty significant progress, I would say. And it looks like the game is actually maybe a little bit longer than I give it credit for. We have three places to check. Uh, and I'm aware of at least three doors. Actually, isn't it four at this point? Yeah, it sure is. So there's one at the very bottom. There's one... No, wait, maybe... Hold on. One, two... No, there there are four. There's one all the way over to the... To the right. Well, right and a little bit down. And then for the right, there was a door. Obviously, we found one up in the ruins, up the elevator. And then all the way up and around. Uh, and then there, there are two doors. There's the one on the top level of the catacombs down and to the left from here, and one all the way at the bottom. Hmm. I'm going to assume that all of them will open now? Well, at least three of them will have to open, because we have been told about three places that we need to visit. So there's that. Huh. Okay. <laughs> well, there certainly have been some unforeseen developments. Next, next time, uh, I guess, well, we'll maybe talk to Natya and Locke and see if they have anything more to say to us now and maybe uh, <laughs> some things to clear up or more likely more mysteries and then we have I guess three areas to explore, three bosses to kill before we'll be able to finish off Heathcliff himself or face, face off against Heathcliff himself uh, and also hopefully I'll be able to find out what this is all about <laughs> And if there is more to it. Um, well, anyway, we'll see. This episode obviously has been going on for long enough. For the time being, I thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment. And I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.